bright young engineers. One of them is taken away forever. And one who will, I don't know how he will recover from this. We can't take it anymore. We can't do that. I can't idly stand by if I hear someone say a racial slur. There are new details tonight in the shooting at the Olathe restaurant, Austin's Bar and Grill. We're learning more about both of the victims and the suspects. Here's what we know right now. This man, Adam Purinton, is in the Henry County Jail and charged with murder. He was captured at an Applebee's in Clinton, Missouri. Employees there say he walked in and confessed, saying he was involved in the Olathe shooting. They called police and he was arrested. And the Kuklabata, an engineer at Garmin who was killed. His colleague, Alak Marasani, was also shot and is still in the hospital. Ian Grillet is the third victim and is also in the hospital recovering this evening. We have live team coverage on this developing story. We begin now with KCTV5's Caroline Sweeney, who was at today's news conference and has new details on the investigation. Caroline. Well, Ellen, investigators from F several agencies are being tight-lipped about the events that happened before the triple shooting last night at Austin's. That's left one person dead and two people in critical condition. However, we know from a timeline and from video that was taken by residents that the minutes after the shooting were very chaotic. East 151st Street on a possible shooting. Another guy got shot, another guy got shot, and another guy got shot. In less than 10 minutes, emergency responders arrived at Austin's Bar and Grill to help three shooting victims and look for the suspect. At 719 Wednesday night, police were called to Austin's after two people were reportedly shot. At 721, additional medical support was requested. Two minutes later, a third victim was found outside. And at 724, police had a name, Adam Purinton, and that he was a regular. Not wanting to jeopardize both the, the investigation or the prosecution. Um, we're not going to be able to, to add any more details um, at this point. At the time, Puritan fled the scene and for several hours after the shooting, police were at this house trying to make contact with him. He was later found in Clinton, Missouri. And right now, Adam Purinton is in a Henry County Jail. Earlier today, investigators were finishing up uh, looking at Austin's Bar and Grill and concluding the beginning stages of their investigation. Live at the Olathe Police Headquarters, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV 5 News. Thanks for the outpouring of support for the victims. Fundraisers are underway and people have been gathering to remember the man killed and to pray for the two survivors. KCTV 5's Ashley Arnold is live outside the restaurant this evening. Ashley? Yes, while well, some say that this shooting has led to and has been showing the hatred and anger that started it, there's also been an outpouring of support. As you can see, there's flowers that have been left here at the Austins where this all took place. The incident has led to community members coming together, saying something has to change in how we interact with one another. As the community mourns, a conversation is continuing. After reports began Wednesday night's shooting at Austin's could be racially motivated, calls for change grew. I'm angry. I'm really angry that we're at the point that we are in history and we are still judging each other by our religious beliefs, by who we love, by the color of our skin. Family and friends confirm Srinivas Kuchibotla was killed in the shooting and Alok Marasani and Ian Grillo remain in the hospital from their injuries. Ian was injured trying to intervene after police say a man started shooting. It speaks volume that he did want to speak up and we there were people. We need more of that when something like this happens. Still, it is baby steps like these conversations that truly bring things forward. Both surviving victims are still in the hospital. We are waiting for updates on their conditions. We now will continue our team coverage with Natalie Davis, who has the latest information that we've learned about the suspect. Natalie? Thanks, Ashley. Police have closed off the cul-de-sac here at West 155th Terrace in Olathe while investigators search Adam Purinton's home. Chopper 5 gave us a view from above. You can see the garage door open with police milling around. Meanwhile, detectives went from door to door, interviewing neighbors to find out what they could about Purinton. Here's what we learned. He was in the Navy from...
his LinkedIn profile, he now works for a local IT company. A family member told us Purinton had a bad drinking problem, made worse by the loss of his father about a year or so ago. We also connected with a longtime friend and neighbor to Purinton who also knew of his problems with alcohol, but both he and Purinton's family say they never expected this to happen. Never seen him violent. You know, he was, when he drank, he was passive. You know, he'd sit over there and drink all by himself. Witnesses at Austin's last night said they heard Purinton uttering racial slurs before the shooting. We spoke to his family and they said they were shocked to hear that, telling us despite his problems, they've never heard him make any racist remarks. Live in Olathe, Natalie Davis, KCTV 5 News. Thanks, Natalie. Investigative reporter Emily Sinovic joins us now. And right now, the FBI is looking at the shooting as a possible hate crime. Yeah, and of course, the FBI hasn't said yet. If it is, it's still to be determined. But you've also looked into how many other hate crimes have happened in our area. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of interest in this case and the motive behind it. But to be clear, police are not calling this or labeling this a hate crime, at least at this time. We've just learned that the National Organization for the Council on American Islamic Relations is calling for state and federal hate crime investigators to look into this. Now, we know there are witnesses who report hearing the suspect yell racial slurs before the shooting and I've been talking to the reporter for the Times of India who's covering this in India in the region of the country where he tells me both Indian born men went to school for engineering degrees before moving to the United States he tells me this has been upsetting not only to hear about the shooting and death but there is strong suspicion there this was a racially motivated crime now if you look at FBI statistics 